Hi, I'm Nick Lujan, Director of Artistry and Education for Kevin O'Quan Beauty. And today I would love to share with you some of my makeup artist must-haves from Kevin O'Quan Beauty. First, I want to mention our Team Kevin Pro program. Go to kevinoquanbeauty.com and click on the Pro program for all of our details on how to register to become part of Team Kevin. Here are two extremely important and special iconic must-haves from Kevin O'Quan, his books Making Faces and Face Forward. Both of these books have been my education in makeup artistry and have kept me inspired throughout the years since they launched in 97 and in the year 2000. They uncover all of the techniques, tips, and tricks that Kevin used to use with his celebrity clients, and there are some pretty inspirational images inside. Now let's play in makeup. Every beautiful makeup starts with a beautifully prepped canvas. I love to prep my skin using Sensual Skin Primer. It has a kit-friendly packaging. A little bit goes a long way. That's all you need. Start by pressing it into any areas where there's texture, pores, and fine lines, and also any concern for wearability of makeup because this formula is smoothing, soothing, and helps your foundation and other products stay on longer. I even like to use just a small amount over my eyelids to prep the eyes. Now let's talk foundations and concealers. I would love to give you a quick overview of all the formulas from Kevin O'Quan Beauty, and then we'll spend some time with the most important formula for a pro kit. First up is Strip Nude Skin Tint. This is a lightweight, very sheer, radiant finish foundation. This is perfect for the clients that don't want a lot of coverage and you still wanna see their skin peeking through. Next up is the Etherealist Skin Illuminating Liquid Foundation. This is a medium buildable coverage with a naturally satin finish. You can build up layers where needed for that added coverage. Next is the Foundation Balm. This is a full coverage demi matte finish formula. It has nourishing ingredients and it's perfect for anybody with oily skin or those clients that need a little help with coverage. Next up is the Etherealist Supernatural Concealer. This is an easy to use, self-setting, long-lasting concealer with a satin finish. And finally, my favorite formula, the most iconic and the most important for a pro kit, Sensual Skin Enhancer. This is a complete coverage formula, meaning it can be applied extremely sheer and barely there, or it can be built into full coverage. The best part about this product is that it has a natural finish that gives you the look of well-balanced and hydrated skin. Sensual Skin Enhancer is designed to custom blend foundation, highlight, contour, and concealer for your clients. There are also many other uses for this formula. Some of the most iconic shades, the two most important for my kit, are shade number nine and shade number 14. Shade number nine is gonna be great for color correcting from light to medium skin tones, and then shade number 14 for color correcting around the eyes for deeper skin tones. I love to travel with all 16 shades of Sensual Skin Enhancer, which I've put into these little containers from Muji. I love to hold the containers next up to my clients so that I can custom blend foundations. I look to see which colors are the closest to their skin tone, and then I blend them together to create a custom shade of foundation. Here I'm blending a little bit of shade number nine and shade number 10 Sensual Skin Enhancer with a drop of Sensual Skin Primer to create my own custom blended foundation. I am mostly shade number nine with just a hint of shade number 10. Depending on how much primer you mix into your formula, you can adjust the coverage to what you need. Just apply it where you need the most coverage first and then blend it out using your favorite sponge or brush. To balance and correct my under eyes, I'm going to take a little bit of shade number nine sensual skin enhancer on its own with my duet concealer brush. I like to apply shade number nine as a little bit of a color corrector and concealer around the eye area. It's going to help to take away any blue or purple in the dark circle. I apply it just in the hollows around the eye area and then quickly blend it out. Any leftover product in my brush can also be dusted over the eyelid to help balance out the color of skin on the eyelids too before you get into eyeshadows. 
Here's a pro product that I cannot live without. It is my loose powder from Kevin O'Quan. It has a screw on cap and then it has this amazing trap door that prevents your powder from escaping into your makeup kit. In addition to being a beautiful formula that helps to set makeup, it also helps to refine and reduce the appearance of texture in the skin as well as help facilitate blending of other products. I've just dipped my brush in the powder. I'm gonna hold it upright and give it a good smack on the table. That pushes the powder deep into the bristle so that when I go to press and roll this over my face, it doesn't fall onto my outfit or onto your model's outfit. Another iconic product that I can't live without in my makeup kit is my sculpting powder. Kevin O'Quan is known for this formula. It's one of the very first products he developed and you can purchase it in individuals like this or we have a contour book Contour Book Volume 3 that features all three shades of sculpting powders in light, medium, and deep, two limited edition highlighters, and a Neo Powder Blusher Bronzer. In his book, Making Faces, Kevin mentions that light shades bring forward and dark shades push back. You'll notice our sculpting powder is going to be a matte finish. It is a darker shade, so it pushes back, but that matte finish is important because it absorbs light and also helps to push back. When you use your sculpting powder, you're going to dip your brush into your product and work it into the bristles before you apply it to the face. That is going to give you a more smooth and airbrush quality finish to your application. Now let's talk Neo powders. At Kevin O'Quan, there's a unique product called a Neo powder, and each Neo powder has three different shades inside, a light, a medium, and deep. These come in blushers, bronzers, and highlighters. When you're working with a Neo powder, you can swipe your brush across all three shades to custom blend a blusher color, or you can pick up one shade at a time by swiping up and down. Today, I'm using the blush called Sunset, and I'm gonna swipe my brush from the gold shade all the way to that middle peachy shade. And then before I apply it to my cheeks, I'm gonna blend it into the brush. I know you all love highlighter as much as I do, so I also want to show you the Neo highlighter called Sahara. It has a light, a medium, and a deep shade in it as well. I'm going to apply a little bit of that middle shade, which is also known as candlelight, using a smaller brush, working it into the bristles first to that upper part of my cheekbone. I love this. I'm going to apply it extra because I really love highlight. Now let's talk eyebrows. The Precision Brow Pencil from Kevin O'Quan Beauty is an iconic original formula from Kevin and has been around since the early 2000s. This product is a kit essential and it comes in three shades which I travel with, Ash Blonde, Brunette, and Dark Brunette. Today I'm gonna demonstrate using the Dark Brunette. I love this product because it has a little brush on the back end that you can use to style the brows. And then you'll take the other end of the pencil and twist up only what you need so that's more than enough, to fill in any little gaps in the brow hairs. So like right here, I have a little gap, so I'll fill it in quickly. And right here, I have another gap, I'll fill that in. And I can use my brow pencil almost like a microblading technique just to create one brow hair at a time. I like to add a little length to the tail of the brow too. There we go. And because it doesn't have a cap, all you have to do for storage is twist it all the way down and you don't have to worry about losing caps or misplacing them. In addition, there's plenty of product and it lasts quite some time. I've already done a very simple eye look using my sculpting powder and my candlelight highlighting powder. Now I wanna talk about lashes. There's a product that Kevin O'Quan developed in the early 2000s that I cannot live without and that is my eyelash curler. This curler is unique for the brand because it's designed to fit most eye shapes. It's a little bit wider from here to here so that it fits comfortably. As you open it up, it opens wider too so that it goes on easier. And then it has this beautiful red silicone that's designed to help you see the lashes as you push them through. In Making Faces, Kevin mentions how to curl lashes. He talks about starting by curling at the very root of the lash first, give it a good crimp, I like to crimp it a little bit extra. Walk your curler about halfway out and then crimp it again. And that's gonna ensure that you get a nice curve to your eyelashes. But look at the difference a curler makes. Here, curled, here, not curled. It looks like I don't even have eyelashes on this side. 
The Volume Mascara by Kevin O'Quan Beauty is an absolute essential must-have. This formula is one of the original tubing formulas ever created, and it was designed by Kevin. I love how small this brush is for detailing lashes. It's great for all eye shapes, including smaller eyes or hooded lids, and then it's also good for detailing bottom lashes. This formula will enrobe the lashes all the way around so that you don't have to worry about flaking or traveling, and it's super easy for removal. There are six shades of unforgettable lip definers that I cannot live without. There are two shades that are iconic, Divine and Minimal. Divine used to be called Medium back in the day. We just renamed it as Divine, so know that it's still in the line. These lip pencils are all designed with Kevin's theory that your lip pencil should match your lip color, not your lipstick. So by default, whatever lipstick or lip gloss or color you place on top, it's gonna be a good match for your skin. I'm gonna be using the shade Minimal today to line my lips. I love this shade. I start with the Cupid bow. Then I line the lower lip, and then I connect from the corners to the middle. Afterwards, I love to fill in the entire lip with a lip color. And then you can finish with your favorite lipstick. Some of my favorites from Kevin O'Quan are Thelmadora, Immaculate, and Enigma. I love Enigma, it's a beautiful pink shade. I cannot finish my kit must-haves without mentioning one of the most incredible products I've ever used. It's called Glass Glow Face, and it comes in six beautiful shades. Today, I'm gonna to use the shade called Pixie Dream. This is one of the newer shades. I take out about half a pump, and I'm gonna apply this to the high planes of the face to add that glass glow highlighted effect. Glass Glow Face is a passion fruit and marula oil base, so it's super nourishing for the skin. It's something that can be applied underneath, mixed into, or on top of makeup. I love it on bare skin. It's so beautiful on the decolletage or the legs when you're out and about. I hope you enjoyed today's overview of Kevin O'Quan Beauty's must-have makeup artist products for a kit. Please tag us at Kevin O'Quan Beauty and hashtag Team Kevin so that we can follow along in your makeup journey.